So the wait is finally over and we have Android 16 stable update release. It's available for the Google Pixel devices right now while making this video. And one of the best things is that because this is Android 16 stable version, so the source code is already out. So if you are into this, this channel from a long time, you know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about custom rooms that those are just coming very, very soon. Very soon does not mean today or later today, but it simply means that source code is there. So which means the progress has been started and Android 16 based custom rooms are coming. With this new Android 16 stable update, let's quickly cover some of the things included because this is not that major update, which I shown you just few days ago, few weeks ago regarding Material 3 expressive UI. We have this kind of live activities, which is of course not perfectly working yet, even with the stable version. If you move on to the pixel launcher, we'll see a one new option named as apps list. If you're following me from some time regarding which when I covered about Android 16 developer betas and public betas, uh, we covered all these things. In the recent section, whenever you click or click on the icon of any app, you will see that we have some options like split screen, screenshot and select. Some of these options are already available at the below, at below, but the reality is we have two new options available in this case too. We have some minor tweaks also available like in display and touch and brightness level. You will see this brightness slider also have a minor, slight minor change, not a major one. If you are using the previous version, you might notice it. One thing available in the language and region section that you have the option to choose the regional preferences now. And this is a very useful thing. You can choose like your regional preferences, how you want to measure these things like temperature, measurement system, first day of week and region of course. Including this, another minor change available in the quick settings media player. When we click on that volume icon, we have a slight, slight change in this in this volume panel also. Battery health, again, it's already there with this new update with some Pixel 8 app and plus users, Pixel 8, 8 Pro, 9 series. And this charging optimization thing is available in the battery health section, at least in my device. It's not 100% working, but yeah, I mean, it's available, so it might be a server side thing. Let's wait for a few time. Well, let's wait for a few hours now. If we move on to navigation mode, and if you enable this three button navigation, the good thing is now with the three button navigation, you will be able to use predictive bag animations by default. Previously, it was with a gesture navigation, but even if you use the three button navigation, you will see the predictive bag animation is that it's working fine too. We also have this new try a demo option available in the gesture navigation. It is not a big deal and not many people are going to use this thing at all, but it is the part of this new update. So definitely just wanted to let you know, including all these things. If you click on any app notification, you will see after holding there, you have these two options available, dismiss and turn off. Previously, it was not like that. And if you're using the previous Android 15, you can simply check out the change if it is there or not. Including that, if you move on to gestures options, you will see double press power button. I guess this was already available. This was already introduced with the Android 15 QPR update. And yes, from QPR, let me tell you that Android 16, the changes which you are looking forward to might be the part of Android 16's QPR update, which will come after two or three months. For now, this is a simple update and if you're using Android 15 from some time, there's nothing major. No new changes. We have some minor ones, but it's not a huge UI change in this case. Huge UI changes will be the part of Android 16 QPR update and that is now running a beta version. So we have a QPR 1 beta 1 already there. Now we have a QPR 1 beta 2. And if you want to know more about the QPR 1 beta 2, the new changes we are getting with Android 16 beta update. I'll cover that in, in the next video very, very soon. Make sure to subscribe the channel for now. This is what we have Android 16 stable version, almost looking like Android 15 for now. But this is still it is having some major changes in backend. And for the users, this is not a huge change. If you need UI changes, although you can install a beta version on your devices. And if you're into this channel from a long time, the main excitement is regarding custom rooms, which might come as you think, like, let's see when it comes so for now. This is it. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure to drop a like. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We'll see you in the next one.